Welcome aboard to our full walkthrough of the MSC Davina. Starting on deck 16 is the Yacht Club area. This exclusive section comprises of the top three decks in the very forward section of the ship. For those staying in Yacht Club, they have access to an exclusive sun deck, lounge, and restaurant, along with many other amenities. On deck 16 aft is the sports court. Surrounding the sports court are plenty of loungers and two hot tubs. Also in this area is Virtual World, home to the video arcade and the F1 simulator. Next to the arcade is the Galaxy Restaurant, which for dinner is a specialty sushi restaurant and then late in the evening turns into a nightclub. Beyond the Yacht Club on deck 15, we overlook the solarium and the pool deck. This upper area has plenty of space for lounge chairs as well as two hot tubs. On deck 15 aft is the Di Sorono Contemporary Terrace, or as labeled in the deck plan as the Garden Bar. This is an adults-only area with lounge chairs, a large bar, and a pool. Do keep in mind that one side of this area is a smoking section. On deck 14 forward is the Aria Spa. Here you can get all sorts of spa treatments. You will also find the fitness center, the juice bar, and the thermal suite. If you are booked in an ARIA class stateroom, you get exclusive access to the thermal suite and the top 18 sun deck. Beyond the ARIA spa is the Le Serene covered pool solarium. Depending on the weather, the roof can open to let the sun shine in, or if you're having cold or bad weather, this is a great indoor pool area. There is also a bar and a pool shop. Selling bathing suits, sunscreen, pool toys, and anything else you might need by the pool or the beach. In addition to the pool and the three hot tubs, there is plenty of seating poolside or in the upper area overlooking the pool. Beyond the solarium, you will find the Aqua Park pool deck. There are two bars, a large pool, two hot tubs, and a bandstand area for live music. Heading aft on deck 14, beyond that are the buffets. It's the Calame and the Manitou Buffet. There is plenty of seating here and a wide variety of offerings. The pizza was especially good. On decks 5, 6, and 7 forward is the Pantheon's Theater. Walking aft from the Pantheon Theater is La Luna Piano Bar. This was a happening place in the evening with a full bar and live piano music. From La Luna, you can easily take the steps down into the casino. Next up is the Golden Jazz Bar, which in the evening has live jazz music and a strange variety of seating. Now entering into the upper area of the atrium is Cafe Italia. On either side of Cafe Italia are the MSC logo store and the perfume shop.
Walking further aft is La Cantina di Baco, which is a wine bar with specialty pizzas. They also offer mini charcuterie plates and small appetizers for an extra charge. Behind one side of Cantina di Baco is Butcher's Cut, the specialty steakhouse. Behind the other side of La Cantina di Baco is a hallway with the photo shop that leads to the black and white lounge. On our cruise, the black and white lounge was the place to be, with plenty of dancing and live music. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us create more cruise content. On deck six, walking aft from the theater is the casino. Next to the casino is the cruise card activation point kiosk. When you get on board, you must activate your cruise card here. You can also manage your account and use it as an ATM as well. Walking aft from the casino is Piazza del Doge. This lounge area has access to a bar with the gelato and a bakery. Surrounding the piazza is the cigar lounge and a variety of other shops. Heading aft from the piazza is the Silver Lounge. This area overlooks the atrium and is the second of the three levels. Across from the Silver Lounge, you will find the Shore Excursion Desk, which is where you can go for all of your shore excursion needs. Beyond that is another shop and La Caramella, which is the candy store. On deck six aft is the Black Crab and Villa Rosa restaurants. These are the main dining rooms. When you arrive on board, you will be assigned one of the two restaurants, a dining time, and a table that you will be eating at for every night. There is the possibility that you could be seated with other people that you do not know. If you wish to change any aspect of your dining arrangements, you can always talk to the maitre d', but there is no guarantee that any changes can be made. 
If you are interested in looking at any of the menus for the MSC restaurants, please check out the link in the description for all of them are on our website. On deck 5 mid is the main level of the atrium. Here you will find guest services, the internet cafe, and the Divina Bar. There was always usually live entertainment happening in the afternoons and evenings as well. And that's it for the MSC Divina. Have you stayed on this ship before? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, it really helps our channel grow. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on board soon.